Good morning. I'm talking to you this morning because I'm interested in the differences between academic cultures in China and the UK. Now, what I mean by academic cultures is simply how students study in the two countries. Um, what are the different components of their courses? What teachers expect from them? And so on. And I'd like to present my ideas to you today and, and get some feedback from you. The thing I want to focus on particularly is lectures. I'm interested in the difference between lectures both in terms of how the lectures are organised or presented and also in terms of how the lecture fits in to the overall academic programme. Now the first question I need to address is how do I know anything about lectures in China? Because I haven't studied there and in fact I haven't even been there. Well, I found out by interviewing Chinese students. What I did was conduct a so-called tracking study and that means that you follow students over a period of time. What I did was to follow 12 Chinese students, all doing different courses, different master's courses at the University of Reading. And over their year of study, I interviewed them three times individually. I interviewed them once in the autumn term, once in the spring term, and then again in the summer term. And the interviews lasted for about an hour, an hour and a quarter. I asked them a number of questions about studies in the UK and about their studies in China. So my information comes from them. And so I have to say right from the beginning that I am talking here about information I got from 12 students, which is obviously a very small sample. And I don't know how representative what they said is of the Chinese education system as a whole. So we have to remember that limitation. I did choose different students from different parts of China and I made sure that there was an equal number of men and women and they were all studying different courses here at Reading. So there was a range of backgrounds and experience, but there is that limitation. However, I felt that what I was hearing from the students was actually very similar. I mean, what they were saying individually was more or less the same. So I felt that maybe there is some basis for what they said and maybe what they did say um, and maybe their experience was not untypical in general of students in China. 